Hello again, I'm Jim Lampley with Larry Merchant and Max Kellerman live from the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas where we anticipate one of the most outrageous and compelling events in boxing history. Action. Cutting a fight, really cutting a fight, is a very labor-intensive and emotionally draining experience. If there's a manual to be printed on how to make a fight film perfect, it should say Sylvester Stallone, text by Sylvester Stallone, because he wrote the manual. I don't care what anyone says, that's a fact. Each of the little fight sequences have a dramatic value in the movie. So he wrote down as a writer what the dramatic value was for each of those instances who's winning at what point and you know where Rocky is and what, what's Rocky's, both his physical journey through that fight and his emotional journey through that fight. Two extra punches will destroy, to me, a tempo. It just takes the point where, ah, and I've made that mistake in, in other words. I let things go on too long in rounds and I see them now go, oh boy, okay. Then again, it was the 80s, so it was, it was a very excessive time. It was big hair, it was, you know, bands, the music, okay, too much punching. But by today's standards, it, it was overkill. So I try to be very, very realistic in this fight. The punches are something that I wanted to get right this time. And the other Rockies are okay, but they're too thuddy, too loud. We spent a lot of time recording actual punches, real sounds. Before we would use, we would layer in shotgun blasts, broken bottles, chains rattling, a baseball bat hitting wet leather, believe it or not, and just crush it into a sound. This is being layer, layered with true sounds. So when I'm hitting the meat, I'm hitting the meat. The speed at which it's delivered, the champion's punches, no question about it, have a higher register. They're coming faster, they're not as penetrating, so it's more of a bullwhip. <laughs> Whereas Rockies is more ponderous, it's slower, so it'd be more of a thud. <laughs> Lower register. Boom. We brought in Antonio Tarver, who was played Mason Dixon in the film. Sly felt it would be um, a lot easier to find somebody who could really box, give them all the years of his uh, acting experience to teach them how to act rather than find an actor and try and get the physicality to uh, make them box. It's not about personal hate. It's not that kind of fight. So it now takes on a whole different feel. I really didn't know how we were going to do it, but I listened to Sly. I was uh, paying close attention to what he said, and everything that he asked of me, I gave it my all 110%. Once I got in sync and I really understood his vision, you know, it was a natural thing. One, two, three, or just the hook? Okay, one, two, three. For a lot of reasons, Sly wanted to do all the boxing up front, primarily because then he's in the best shape because he's just finished the training routine, and once he starts shooting, then he's now no longer can train with the same intensity, the same schedule. A lot of people know that Sly's extremely fit and in shape, but this is a this is a different kind of training for this. He gave himself, I would say, at least six months training uh, to do this picture. It was a gradual build-up. He has a certain look that he wanted to make it believable in this fight. And I believe when you see the picture, you'll see what the incredible shape he's in. Sly had his shirt on through all the boxing choreography. And the first time he took his shirt off was when we were shooting the weigh-in in Vegas. I was actually standing at the monitor, and Nicole, the, uh, the hair girl, was right next to me. The minute he took his robe off for the first time, she went, oh! <laughs> and I was like, look, I said, oh my God, look how cut yeah. he is. One thing about Rocky we know for sure, this guy's showing up in shape. He had to go through some real hard nights, lifting weights and running and preparing and just really having the mindset and then having to go to the gym and work. I wish I could take his heart and his will and his intestinal fortitude and his desire to be great in this and, 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 and bottle it and give it to some of the fighters I've trained throughout the years. I'd have 10 world champions by now. He amazed me. 
It's unbelievable how hard he works and uh, just his energy. And that inspired me in a lot of ways. You know, uh, it got me thinking about going heavyweight. So, you know, I really feel good about myself right now. My energy level is up and I think I can conquer the world. And uh, thanks for Rocky Balboa giving me that inspiration to really look at my career and say, you know, I got a couple more years at this. We're at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. So then you have to find the venue to do the boxing. <laughs> and originally we searched Los Angeles for potential venues that were one available, two large enough, and three wanted us. Sly had, was aware that HBO was shooting a pay-per-view match in Las Vegas, and he thought, wouldn't it be great if we could piggyback on that and get some cameras in there and shoot the crowd of 11,000 people, which we would never be able to afford to do. Here is a special attraction before our main event. Here is your chance to be part of the next Rocky movie, Rocky Balboa. The light heavyweight champion of the world has moved up. Antonio Tarver will play the role of the heavyweight champion, Mason Dixon, and will now face the former champ. So right now, let's get loud. Entering the ring, let's get the Rocky champ going. Here he is, the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Balboa! Veteran of the Wars, here for one more. Rocky's an off-the-board underdog, and they don't care at all. We had always planned to shoot boxing for nine days, and Mandalay Bay only had six days available, so we were suddenly were then shooting a lot quicker. His professional record, 57 victories, including 54 knockouts with 23 defeats and one draw. We use HBO, it becomes an HBO event, which I thought would be kind of unique. So we don't create a fictional arena. We borrow their blueprint and insert Rocky into a realistic situation. He wanted to shoot the fight in high def. It was actually very confusing at first. The traditional way of shooting boxing, I mean, he, he basically, you know, mastered in, in the first five. You'll never see that in the box, okay. ever. It's always low angle, you know what I mean? Then when we got there and we started right. shooting and I started seeing some of the footage, what I realized was that it just lent this amazing uh, realism to the boxing footage. It's a, quite astounding and I think it was a very bold and courageous decision to go that way. I thought, geez, the camera angles are always the same in fight films. I said, imagine if the camera is right there. And people are going to say, is that real? Is that a trick? Is that CGI? No. It's what HBO does. You, we set the cameras up in four spots, and we let it wing. It has the look and feel of a pay-per-view fight, which all fight fans, when they subscribe to a HBO or a Showtime, you see that fight. That's what that's the look Sly wanted. He's uh, very familiar with HD. His uh, house is all set up with HD equipment. So, you know, I mean, that's what he watches every day. He was like, you know, I want the drama and the dialogue to look one way, but I want the fight to look like, I, I see it at my house, and we put this uh, HD package together for him, and, and it really worked. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! But the Vegas thing was great, working with Larry Merchant and the guys that I'm used to working with all the time. Literally, the deals were closed the night before we were about to shoot. So we, right up to the last moment, we were negotiating that. And then that gets put to bed. And then we're starting to shoot in a venue that is incredibly busy. And we had to fit into their plan that we were guests. And we had to find the best way to make that work. And we're shooting right up against live events, live way in the live press conference and we're shooting portions of it, and then we're using our own audience and stepping in right after to take advantage of the sets that they already had set up in the real venue. The crowd is gonna go crazy, so you, we gotta be fast down here. Sure. And this makeup literally has to go on in 10 seconds. Yeah. 10 seconds. It was really great. The fans was involved, and they act as if they was witnessing a real fight. We stole the show from uh, Jermaine Taylor and uh, Bernard Hopkins, unfortunately. I mean, the people say if they could have gotten as much action from that fight as our fight, I mean, they could have did five, 600,000 pay-per-view buys, but it wasn't to be. I mean, it was uh, Sylvester Stallone and Antonio Tarver night. And a monstrous great back hand. I'm proud to say that every punch in the movie that you see that's a hit, it's a hit. And if it's a miss, we don't put a sound behind it to try to make it a hit. Not only did he say, I'm not afraid to get hit, not only did he not say that, he said, please, I want you to hit me. The heavyweight champion of the world doesn't like getting hit. <laughs> the fake former heavyweight champion of the world enjoys getting punched in the face. <laughs> 
All right, now that's a Ouch. good hit. Right? <laughs> okay. That I was, was all I would that, was acting. that was acting then. That was all acting. Mark, all <laughs> he won't keep his head still. Watch this. Bend your knees then, Tony. Okay, go ahead. Do you like that? Yeah, that was a... Did you that hurt? Yeah, I'm going to fall. Yeah, he didn't like that. No, I'm cool. <laughs> go ahead. He had that little... Yeah. Go ahead. I can't, I, I'm afraid to hit you. Oh, go ahead, man. All right, here you go. Let's slip it. Just have your distance. Poom. <laughs> Poom. So you're turning that over. you turn that shit over right there. you turn turning that shit over right there. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to be on I don't get this. I don't get this opportunity to punch professionals that often. His physicality, the, the way he was able to, to move in the ring and hit along with Antonio Tarver, uh, I mean, I just found it incredibly impressive that day after day, they were actually hitting each other. People that are going to see, the world is going to see a real punch is being landed by the light heavyweight champion of the world, Antonio Tarver, on the face of Sylvester Stallone. There's no computer graphics, there's no tricks. This was real. There were times where we had to specifically ask him during uh, the choreography to, for them to lay off of each other. Put himself out there physically so that he would be there and uh, took contact on just about every single punch you see in the movie. We asked Sly to wear a helmet because he just liked getting hit and we started to see he was getting <laughs> swollen three weeks before he was supposed to shoot. The hardest thing was getting Antonio to connect a lot and hit me because he felt bad. <laughs> I told him if his face get in the way, it ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. You like that? It looks like a speed bag against a punching bag. He didn't try to kill me. It isn't as though we're, you know, everyone's throwing, you know, heart stopping punches. They hurt. <laughs> When you go see a fight, obviously you see boxers getting hit, and that's what you see in this film. He misses. Oh, there's a meat-seeking missile on the point of the chin by the champ. This is the hurt business, believe it or not, and we got some bumps and bruises along the way. Ah, ah, ah. Ice, fucking ice. ice come on, here we go. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Shit. So, like, how's your finger feeling? Good. So, not as bad as his. Guys, you guys have definitely sustained some injuries during this training. Oh man, it's been hard work. Yeah. You can't pull all the punches. So, you know, I mean, I took a few myself. I mean, he's really hard punching to the body. I felt that a lot. And I went home with a lot of ice packs, you know what I mean? Oh, there's a hard right hand and a left and a right foul ball going. I can't believe how hard slide hits. How about you? You've been taking a couple I told shots. him he's unbelievable. And I've uh, held the pads and the cushions for yeah. him also. He hits as hard as any, any regular boxer I've ever been, been around. Yeah. Here. The great thing is Sly is actually getting hit. We can't miss that at all. It's, it's phenomenal. It's really unbelievable that he's doing it. There's so many different issues that can come up. Someone gets bruised, someone gets swollen. Now you have a continuity issue for the film. But even bigger than that, you beat on a person's body for that sustained period of time, you run the risk of serious injury. You run the risk of, of people fading and losing their focus and things getting sloppy. You know what I mean? So he grabs me, spins me out. I told you. Daddy! Oh, slow down. Oh. Good. Huh? Be careful. <laughs> oh. Be careful. <laughs> A little late, baby. <laughs> you won't see like the, the first Rockies where you know, you see a guy, he gets hit, but it, the punch never lands. You won't see that in this movie. You'll see contact, you'll see sweat flying, you'll see a lot of blood. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be as real as real can get. I thought, you know, it's the last time around, and, and I wanted to do something that uh, makes people think, maybe we should not do any more boxing movies. <laughs> yeah, we gotta forget this punch in the face. <laughs> it's getting old. <laughs> One thing I've learned uh, from this movie is that, you know, I gave myself a three-year window, and I was gonna hang up the gloves, but seeing Rocky Balboa, seeing Sylvester Stallone, who knows, I might be able to do this five, six, seven years to come. Age is nothing but a number, and when you really take care of yourself and you train hard, there's no limit to what you can do.